Viewer discretion is advised. Psych director Randall House woke up in a cavern with a massive headache. It was dark, save for small beams of light peeking through the cracks on the wall. <sighs> All right, buddy. Satan, Lucifer, El Diablo, whatever you want to be called today. You've already trapped me in hell last month. The joke was funny the first eight times. Enough's enough. Suddenly, a massive wall of fire shot through the ground with a deafening roar. As House recoiled from the sudden burst of heat and light, the less than menacing figure of Clydesdale, the devil's emissary, emerged from the flames. Hello, Mr. House. Welcome to hell. I'm the dishonorable creature of malice and hate, Clydesdale. All right, very funny. Now get me the hell out of here. I would, and the joke was growing tired anyway. But you see, here's the thing. Uh, you're dead. Dead? Uh, what? How? Big rock fall on little head. That's how. No, 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 no. This must be another one of your sick jokes. And even if I die, I shouldn't be here. I was a good guy. You guys are the pinnacle of evil and that ain't me. Plus, I have so much more to do. Don't care, didn't ask. I'm just happy I can get to be your hell buddy. Now, you can tell me the true meaning of Christmas. Hello everybody, I'm The Rubber. Today, we bring you SCP Foundation Euclid Class Object SCP-7593. SCP-7593, also known as House's Inferno, was a random anomalous event culminating in the death of Site-666 Director Randall House. House's corpse was discovered on December 22, 2005, in his office, under a pile of smoking rubble that fell from the ceiling. The corpse was mangled to a point of it being near unrecognizable. Holy, that's House? Yep, crushed beyond recognition, but that's him all right. Is he in hell? Christ, Thorner, some tact maybe? Well, House is, in fact, in hell right now. Our correspondent down there sent us video feeds. You might find them interesting. The feed began with an overhead view of House, laying in the fetal position, whimpering. His skin was charred and smoking. Quite a bit of time seemed to have passed, judging by House's disheveled, unkempt, and broken appearance. Clydesdale gleefully approached him. It snapped its fingers and House was immediately healed, and no longer whimpering. What? You could just cure someone being driven insane? I can also prevent that from happening in the first place if you'd just tell me the true meaning of Christmas. I'm not telling you anything. It took me way too much time to find it, and I'm not giving it up. Stop asking me. Come on now, partner. My boss has instructed me to get the answer from you. You know how it is. I'm just doing my job. Surely you understand. Please don't make it any harder for me. Nuh-uh. No dice. This is getting ridiculous. I was a pacifist as much as I could be. You can't put me in here. I never killed anyone directly. Ugh. I've seen your record. The amount of heinous things you do for work. I'm getting a little pissed just looking at you now. The next recording began with House being chained by his limbs to a ragged rock wall while being interrogated by Clydesdale. A pair of muscular demons beat his body with large obsidian mallets repeatedly, so much so that House couldn't even moan. When the damage to House's body became too significant, they would stop, only to have him healed instantly so that the beatings could continue. Suddenly, something exploded in front of House. Two large, tattered, leather wings protruded from the smoke. The smoke cleared to reveal Satan himself, a towering behemoth with massive, tattered wings and three grotesque faces, each holding a screaming man in their gaping mouths. All of the demons kneeled in respect and terror in the presence of their devilish overlord. Your most dastardliness, the sin of all sinners, uh, the evil of all evils, master of hell and destroyer of all things holy, your murderousness. I'm at your service. I heard we were having some trouble with a sinner. Yes, sir. This is Randall House. Oh, you. I've seen your file. You're a real piece of work. Look, man, I don't want any trouble. It's just that I don't belong in here. Hold on a minute. Is that... 
I swear I recognize one of the guys in your uh, mouths. Now, tell us what we want to know, and all this unnecessary torture will cease. I swear I've seen that man at work. With a swift and brutal motion, Satan pulled out a man from its many mouths, then hurled him at the wall where it splattered into a shower of gore and viscera. Satan then leaned in close to House. The three twisted faces contorted into an unsettling fury as he surveyed his subject. Look at me when I'm talking to you, boy! I, I, I'm looking at you... I mean, it's part of your head, isn't it? You really do have a face only a mother could love. Ah! Satan's fist punched through House's body without warning, and it stayed there as House writhed in agony. I spend my time out of my chamber dealing with you. So, tell me the true meaning of Christmas now, Wes. House grunted in pain as Satan withdrew his fist from his body. Kill him. Clydesdale snapped its fingers, and the gaping hole on House's body slowly recovered. But the process was far from painless this time. House's screams filled the air as his flesh and bones knitted themselves back together in agonizing slowness. Now, tell me the true meaning of Christmas. Tell us! Tell us now! I want to be merry and bright this instant, Randy! You've tested me all day, and now you're getting tenderized! You're nothing! You're a worthless subhuman mole! I should tell the primordial cells that evolved into your ragged, meek, insignificant form to stay put, because this is what they'd become. Tell me the true meaning of Christmas now. So what? I tell you, then you stop torturing me for a couple hours, and then I'm back where I started. Doesn't seem too fair to me. How about this? You're a man who's always open to deals, right? Not getting tortured isn't enough. I need something better. Why, you... You manipulative worm. I should just... Silence! Don't you dare speak on my behalf, Clydesdale. Now, speak, human. Seems like your entire army, including you, wants to know this little secret I have. I'm not giving it up unless you give me a do-over on life. That dingus over there set me on fire and exploded me for 60 years, and still not a peep. My lips are sealed airtight. Satan thought about it for a moment. He yanked House and his chains off the wall, then held him close to his eyes. Deal. But your murderousness, that man is a trickster. He'll just weasel his way out. All faces of Satan glared at Clydesdale, who cowered in fear at his wrath. One more word. And I'll have you chained up on that wall for the next millennia! Now, boy, with that said, if you trick me, you won't get the luxury of getting out. Ever. You have my word. Satan put House down on the ground. As House stretched his body, a smug smirk began to form on his face. So, Christmas, huh? It's a celebration of life, of hope, of renewal in the face of darkness. But at the same time, it's a reminder of our morality and the transience of all things. You're testing my patience here. No way you human beings ponder about such... such trite crap. I swear to you and God, that's the true meaning of Christmas. Wait, what's your friend there doing? Clyde, why are you staring at me like that? Are you reading my friggin' mind or something? Clydesdale's eyes glowed bright red as it stared at House for a good minute. Then it floated over to Satan and whispered to its ear. What? Really? That's it? Clydesdale nodded, and both demons squinted their eyes at House. I don't know what it is, but I just find that unconvincing and underwhelming. But he says you're not lying. That means I can go, right? You'll uphold your end of the deal? Right? You do know the thing about making a deal with the devil, don't you? You are a man of his words, right? Surely you won't stoop so low to the stereotype, especially in front of all your demon underlings here, right? <sighs> yes, I have no choice then. Right after the team finished watching the feed, 
there was a sudden explosion in House's office. They rushed over only to find it engulfed in flames. The team extinguished the fire. House was heard screaming from under a pile of rubble, demanding to see a doctor, a therapist, and a priest. We hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to click like, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell. Have a favorite SCP you want to see on this channel? Leave us your suggestions in the comments down below. In the meantime, if you'd like to see more SCP content, then check out some of our other videos right here. As always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye.